Megan and I did musicals together as kids, Foster captioned a photo of the two actresses beaming. She grew up to be the Duchess of Sussex and I grew up to star on the West End, so same life if you ask me. The comments section was quickly flooded with accusations of plastic surgery, one of many rumors that Markle has been hounded with for years. Wonderful what money can do to change your looks, one person wrote. Another commented, Megan's nose is extremely different today. Too obvious. Many have hypothesized that Markle got a nose job before beginning her career in Hollywood, but it's hard to tell. People point to the fact that Markle's nose appears wider in early photos, but the Duchess of Sussex's nose seems to naturally flare when she smiles. The Duchess wasn't the only one getting heat in the comment section. Both of them had mediocre careers on the fringes of Hollywood, one person wrote. But just goes to show that anyone can plastic surgery their way to marrying very rich men. The two-year anniversary of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's departure from social media occurred on Wednesday, with the couple last posting to their official at Sussex Royal Instagram account in March 2020. Harry and Meghan have both, in recent years, become vocal advocates for internet safety and measures to reduce the levels of unsolicited hate and abuse that is prevalent on social media platforms. The couple's last post to their official Instagram account explained that they would be focusing on a new chapter of their lives following the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, and they're stepping down as full-time working members of the royal family in March 2020. They stated their aim was to better understand how we can best contribute. While you may not see us here, the work continues. A statement released by the Sussexes team, reported by Town & Country, read, following today's post. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will no longer post on Instagram under the at Sussex Royal handle and will also no longer update SussexRoyal.com website. Both the Instagram account and website will remain in existence online for the foreseeable future, although they will be inactive. Harry and Meghan's relationship with social media has varied over the last decade. Before her marriage to Harry, Meghan ran successful social media accounts across various platforms including Instagram and her blog, The Dig. Until 2019 Harry and Meghan officially shared the Instagram account at Kensington Royal with Prince William and Kate Middleton, before separating their households and setting up at Sussex Royal in April of that year. The move to set up their own Instagram account caused media speculation regarding the relationship between the Sussexes and the Cambridges. This followed reporting that Meghan had made Kate cry ahead of the royal wedding in 2018. Meghan has since refuted this claim. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey last year she said that the reverse happened and that a dispute with Kate over bridesmaids' dresses left Meghan in tears. The Sussexes' Instagram account broke records by gaining 1 million followers within six hours of launching. To date the account has over 9.7 million followers compared to the regularly updated account of William and Kate, who have 13.5 million followers. A website companion to at Sussex Royal was launched by Harry and Meghan in January 2020 to communicate their plans for a new hybrid working model whereby the couple would work to become financially independent while still serving the monarchy between bases in the US and UK. What followed was the turbulent Megxit period which saw Queen Elizabeth II have to intervene and work with the Sussexes to find a path forward. The conclusion of this was for Harry and Meghan to step down as full-time working members of the royal family. As part of this deal, the couple were asked to stop using the term Sussex Royal as its suffix might suggest that the couple sought to profit from royal association. Following her stepping down as a full-time working member of the royal family and abandoning the at Sussex Royal Instagram account, Meghan gave a digital interview at Fortune's Most Powerful Next Gen Summit in October 2020 discussing her relationship with social media. During the interview she said, For my own self-preservation, I have not been on social media for a very long time. I had a personal account years ago, which I closed down and then we had one through the institution in our office that was in the UK separate, and that wasn't managed by us, that was a whole team, and so I think that comes with the territory for the job you have. I've made a personal choice to not have any account, so I don't know what's out there, and many ways that's helpful for me. I have a lot of concerns for people that have become obsessed with it, and it is so much a part of our daily culture for so many people that it's an addiction like many others.